Good morning, I'm Ben Brown, live here in Downing Street on what is likely to be another difficult day for the Prime Minister. Sue Gray's inquiry into lockdown parties at number 10 is believed to be complete and could be released today. The government says they will act on the findings, but Labour say they shouldn't hide behind the report. We need to look at uh, the results and fix the issues there are. But that shouldn't diminish the fantastic work that has been done under this government and under this Prime Minister. The Prime Minister is taking the British people for fools if he thinks that they can't see exactly what has gone on and that they themselves haven't already reached a conclusion as to the fact that he is completely unfit and has demonstrated himself to be completely unfit to be Prime Minister. Boris Johnson is due to face MPs in the Commons this lunchtime as Tory backbenchers wait to decide whether or not to submit votes of no confidence in the Prime Minister's leadership. And I'm Anita McVeigh with the rest of the day's stories. Advisers from Russia, Ukraine, Germany and France are meeting in Paris today as tensions continue to rise over fears of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russia has reacted angrily to warnings of personal sanctions against Mr. Putin, saying the US and NATO has flooded Ukraine with weapons and Western advisers. PCR tests of about 100,000 volunteers in the REACT study also showed that one in 23 people had COVID in the first three weeks of January. And in Northern Ireland, proof of COVID-19 status to enter bars, restaurants and cinemas will be scrapped later today as restrictions begin to ease. Also coming up this hour, the siblings who have been separated while in the care system calls for a new law to keep them together. Hello, good morning from Downing Street. Well, the official inquiry into gatherings, alleged parties here in Downing Street at number 10 and in other government departments in Whitehall during lockdown is believed to be complete now and could be submitted to number 10 within hours. It's understood the senior civil servant, Sue Gray, does have evidence, including photographs and WhatsApp messages and wants the report to be published in full. Boris Johnson is due in the Commons a little later, midday, for Prime Minister's questions and has also promised to respond to the report in front of MPs once it is published. And it does come, of course, after the Metropolitan Police announced yesterday that they are launching their own police investigation. Now, I just want to bring you the latest from uh, Newsnight's pol uh, policy editor, Lewis Goodall, who's uh, just tweeted to say that uh, he's been told by Whitehall sources that the Grey report will 100% be handed over uh, to number 10 today. Also told that uh, Sue Gray has already briefed number 10 on the contents of her report and that it is, quote, not good news. Uh, that doesn't mean, of course, uh, we will see it today because uh, we've got to wait and see what the Prime Minister will do with it, what number 10 will do with it. Uh, so we don't still know when we're going to... Uh, get eyes on the Sue Gray report, but uh, Lewis Goodall there from Newsnight saying that 100% it is going to be handed over to number 10 and that it is not good news. Well, let's get uh, all the day's developments so far from our political correspondent, Ione Wells.